The physio's anger is justified up to a point. You should not have restarted before making sure the goalkeeper was ready. This is a mess of your own making. But now you have to deal with the situation in front of you. So calm everyone down and inform the physio that he will be reported to the authorities for his action. Once the keeper is ready, restart with a drop ball from the point where the ball was when the physio touched it. Or, if that contact happened inside the goal area, from a point on the goal area line parallel to the goal line. Welcome back. Uh, thanks to Roger Dilks for that answer. Keith sets the question. Roger on this occasion answers it just as well because nobody in this studio had the foggy as what the solution was to that. Is that correct? <laughs> Excuse me. He'd have asked, didn't. He'd have asked the line who I'd have asked the fourth official. <laughs> I gave you the correct answer. Eventually. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, the, some of these are, are really difficult. Even for match officials, have to think very hard about it. It just shows yeah, how yeah, difficult the I job mean, is. Eh? Some of these yeah. questions wouldn't even happen in a, in a game, would they? <laughs> play on! Play on! <laughs> you say they wouldn't happen, but things crop up. You remember the beach ball incident at yeah, Sunderland? Things happen yeah, that, simple, that you that. would never have expected. Yeah. Right, Championship playoff final. Hull beat Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah. Sheffield Wednesday's fans were magnificent in turning yeah, up. Team sadly that. didn't on, on this mm. occasion. Um, brilliant winning goal from Mo Diame. Yeah. And actually, an extremely good performance from the man in yeah. the middle, Bobby yeah. Madley. Did, yeah. did you think? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Thought, I, I have to say I thought Bobby refereed the game really well. I think he's got great potential. My only question is, is has he got the... Is he got the quality coaching that's going to enable him to make that next level? But you know, I think he watches this show because we have been, we've been a bit critical of his position and his movement. Um, and and his, on, he? absolutely, and I thought it was, I thought his his movement was was excellent on on uh, on Saturday. I thought he refereed really well. Yeah, there was a couple of big decisions to preside over. You could you could say perhaps Sheffield Wednesday were 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 a little lucky not to concede a penalty, but you've got to be hundred percent. And I wouldn't criticise. Um, um, Robert for not giving that, <laughs> and the one at the end for for Hull with Dawson is never a penalty, never a penalty in a million years. So yeah, I, I, I think the point you make about Bobby's uh, future is a good one about the quality of coaching because yeah. very much like Mark, who we're talking about in part one, he's, he's succeeded in spite of the quality of coaching that yeah. he's been receiving, if any, through the PGMOL. Yeah. And, and, and at the moment, yeah. Bobby may well have to do that himself as well, but he'll, if he makes it, he'll make it off his own yeah, back. I mean, we, we, you know, just, just going off from, from Bobby, you, you, we've got like, you've got like Craig Pawson, mm -hmm. Anthony Taylor mm -hmm. coming through, you know, mm -hmm. and you, you look at Martin Atkinson's, well, come out off, he retires from FIFA yes, in, 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 yeah. in January, and then so there's a, there's, a, there's a vacancy in the elite group of, of, of UEFA, so... Yeah. I really think we. I think we've got a big problem at the moment regarding coaching qualities at the top level of our game. Can I just point to one aspect of Bobby Madley's performance at Wembley because it was, a, I think, the biggest game of his career, the most high, highly potentially highly charged. But pre match he'll have woken up on Saturday morning to headlines. Uh, this was an interview with Hull's Robert Snodgrass, branding Fernando Forestieri a cheat. I mean, he, he went that far. Now, on this show, you guys have condemned the refereeing decisions by which Forestieri had had two red cards, including yellow cards for diving. Now, this appeared to be, what did you make of it, an attempt to, 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 to uh, intimidate Forestieri, to influence the referee? Well, the evidence is there for itself, isn't it? And it's quite clear that we, we know that Forestieri shouldn't have been cautioned four times for, for simulations. Yeah, that's, that's, that's history. And... You do not prejudge a game. You go out there and you referee what's in front of you. And, and for me, as a referee, and, and, and I know Glenn, we would have taken no notes of that whatsoever. You'd have just I doubt I would have even have read the well, yeah, would have, would have Somebody been would have told you, though, wouldn't they, maybe, even if you'd no, not read it? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, not always, not always, Alan. But even if they had, I'd have gone, hey, that's gone. Yeah, that's gone, not yeah. today. I mean, there, 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 today, there has been times when I've been in the tunnel <laughs> and, and, and players have said to me, hey, you've got to watch out for him, watch out for him. And I'll just say, listen, don't tell me how to do my job. You go out there and worry about your job. I mean, that kind of uh, comment can backfire as well, where a referee can think, well, I'm not going to give you anything. Well, you got well, yeah. yeah. the other yeah. way. Uh, uh, refereeing at the <laughs> top <laughs> level, refereeing at the top <laughs> level <laughs> is about <laughs> mental strength, <laughs> mental toughness, and that's what you need at that level. You know, you, you just forget about that, and you go out there, and as I said, you referee what's in front of you. In fact, early on, Forestieri did go around the back, behind, 
and he was just caught by Dawson. Oh, just caught. Uh, well, I mean, the, the bus had gone, hadn't it? It had gone. It had gone. And, 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 and you know, uh, Sheffield Wednesday watchers <laughs> were heart in mouth almost at that point. It's not going to be another yellow yeah, yeah. card for diving, but no, Absolutely. yellow card to Dawson. Yeah. And, uh, and, 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 uh, and looking at a, a training education point of view, as, a, as I said with, um, you know, with, with Glenn and with Mark, you get, you get that one chance to stamp your authority on the game and that was it. You know, you set your tolerance levels in these big games and you've got to set your tolerance levels high. And when they cross that level, bang. And, and, and uh, Robert done that with, yeah. with Dawson. It's Fantastic. Wasn't it? yeah. So con yeah. yeah, congratulations from the Ref Show to yeah, Hull brilliant. City brilliant. and to Steve Bruce. Great guy, Steve. And back in the Premier League in commiserations to Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, equally, uh, commiserations to Millwall, not commiserations to a minority of idiots among their supporters. Most clubs have a few idiots. They seem to have a few idiots more than, more than most. And it's a, a, a stigma on the game. I mean, listen, uh, it's a great football club. Um, I mean, I've had one or two instances when I've walked out of the, of the new den, but it's a, it's a great football club and it's a yeah, shame. They just, they it's just had some really positive publicity as well about what they've done with the shirt sponsorship, yeah, haven't they, recently yeah, as well, yeah, Millwall. Yeah. And then just a few, few, the, the, uh, few mindless idiots. Yeah, All that is, goodness yeah. is stripped well, away and it's everybody yeah, talking yeah. about Millwall in a bad That's light it, again. Yeah. They don't deserve that. They're because, a good club. And I bet you the many genuine good supporters that Millwall have are yeah. ashamed and sickened yeah. Yeah, by them yeah. even more than anybody a, else. A very is. good friend of mine's a Millwall fan and he wasn't happy yeah, yesterday. So, so close no. to the um, anniversary of the high saw disaster yeah. again. And no, no, it just brings back all of those memories yeah, again. Yeah. You don't want it. Congratulations yeah. to Barnsley. The comeback of the season, oh. bottom in December. Oh, yeah. Absolute what Roy of the Rovers. What a story. Yeah. And, it, and it's great to see. And it goes to show that yeah. you can be bottom at Christmas. Yeah. And, you know, if yeah. you have that belief in yourselves, yeah. you can still get up there and get into yeah. in a championship. And they'll be coming down to Loftus Road where they'll be getting nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right. OK, well, 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 we'll see about that. Meanwhile, Millwall have to go to uh, the Product Stadium and face uh, Chesterfield. Yeah, we'll probably That's only like... get three points. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what's great about this. Isn't it, isn't it great that we're talking about the game and the achievement by Barnsley? And we're not talking really about the referee, but for that reason, he deserves credit. Um, Stuart Atwell. Yeah, yeah, he had a, once again, I mean, you know, Stuart, I think he's done tremendously well to keep his dignity yes, after yes. Bit, after he, 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 well got, after a big he, he got yeah. a big knock back. He got, he got removed from the select group, which I thought was wrong. They should have stuck with him. They you know, spent all that money out on him, on training him and educating him. They should have just stuck with him and then kept, and he would have, they would have seen the, you know, the fruition would have come to, or, you know, to the, to the fore, wouldn't so he? He had a meteoric rise and an even yeah. faster fall, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, I suppose you want though, Mark. You just mentioned it again, that, that, that training and that coaching. Yeah. What was he getting? Mm. Because there's obviously a very, very good referee there, as he showed at yeah. championship level. Yeah. What was happening to Stuart Atwell when he was in the, within the select group? He wasn't refereeing at that standard. You've got to ask the question. Nevertheless, yeah. they brought him back. Yeah. They've yeah, brought him yeah, back, so you've well got to him. acknowledge that they well have brought him back, well yeah, when they've got and it's just the it. Yeah, I remember talking about him on the ref show yeah, before, saying, "Well done. I uh, hope he gets plenty more now." Uh, as I say, I'm pleased for him. Uh, he should never have been removed in the first place. I mean, I think, you know, Kieran Barrett, who's just the outgoing man now, was 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 the was his, was his manager and his coach. Um, but no, it's, it's, it's pleasing to see that um, Stuart's come back in, and yeah, he fully cool. deserves and yeah, good nice, luck to him. Nice, nice, nice lad, very nice, nice lad. lad. Big Luton Town fan, so he can't referee Luton Town. <laughs> but um, no, it's, it's pleasing to see um, Stuart. He, de he deserves it, and the way he's, the way he's handled himself throughout and when he got removed was was. And young excellent. enough to be, uh, a, you know, an outstanding Premier League referee well, for many again. years well, to come. Actually, well, so. the, the, the problem, the problem, the problem I have with, with, with Stuart, he wasn't managed correctly. So it's, it's, it, once again, it's about managing your, your your troops, you know, managing your men, managing your players. And he was badly managed. Look, they, you know, they, they pushed him too quickly. Mm. You know, they should have put him into games he could handle, pull him out, pull him in. Pull he, him. And also, he was a FIFA referee. He became a FIFA he referee, a, yeah. I recall, at the age of 25, do, 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 do which is to, unbelievable. Do you want to turn the clock back, perhaps close on to a decade now? Matt Messias? Have Matt we not made, made this mistake before? We do it all the time, Pushing yeah. a young lad too far too soon? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Do, do they not learn? Glenn, there's still time for you to learn. For Mark Halsey to learn and me to learn, isn't there? We're you, learning all the time. You, you never stop learning. And it's time for you to learn from these experts. And uh, we'll be back with another uh, ref show from youaretheref.com next week. I don't know if we've been threatened with any 
Hawaiian shirts. You're not on the panel, are you? No, no. not next week. You're not on the panel. No, no. It would have been, been a Hawaii 5 0 book of that. Oh, did it? Well, it's Euro 5 0 next week, looking ahead to the European Championships. See you then. Bye.